Mr. Ferrer here at NorCal Bees, and today we have uh, quite the adventure. We have bees in a PG&E telephone pole that are up on top of that hill there. And uh, so we're going to take the side-by-side -side and go up there and uh, rescue some bees. We got all of our equipment, hopefully everything we need, chainsaws, uh, generators, uh, everything, all the safety gear we need. And uh, we're gonna go up there and uh, wrestle some bees. So come on, let's go check it out. still got to carry this stuff all the way up to those poles there it's the one the short one next to the two tall ones that's where the bees are at so now we get to hump all this stuff up this loose dirt trail all right like i said you can never trust what they tell you they told me it was four feet off the ground <laughs> it's like 12 feet um there's a hole about a foot below this one and then uh, that I can see bees and I can see comb in. And uh, there's also a hole up above, about six feet up, which I don't see bees in there, but uh, you know, I can't get up there and really look in there. And uh, so yeah, and it's on a steep slope. Definitely need a ladder. Right, the boys are busy packing up all the stuff. Pretty crazy views. We came from over there. Just got the ladder set up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, there's bees right there in that hole. And, uh, that's their main entrance right there. But I see bees and comb there. So I'm going to start cutting maybe a foot below there. And since it's, uh, bolted to this other pole behind it. I'm not too worried about, you know, cutting big chunks out of it. We're just going to start at the bottom and uh, work our way up and try to do it with the skill saw and the sawzall. And if that doesn't work, then we'll get the chainsaw out. All right. Sound like a game plan, boys? Well, we exposed, I think it's pretty much the bottom of the, the nest. Um, and here's the first section of comb. So we're just going to start cutting comb off and working our way up. I know there's bees there. I could see them clustered. So I'd probably start imagining right about here, we'll start getting into the brood nest. And uh, hopefully it doesn't go up too far. Um, like I said, I'm not worried about the structure of this one because it's bolted to the one behind it. So. Uh, we can just kind of hack it, hack this off as we need it. All right, gets cutting some comb. All right. More bees, more rotten telephone pole. And 
They just use whatever space is available. Ah, well, we almost got her done. We're at the top of the nest. Still haven't found the queen. I bet you she's up in here somewhere. It's starting to get uh, thicker, so it's not as rotten as it was down here. Pretty amazing how it was all hollowed out. All right, Surfer Ray here, NorCal Bees, and uh, got all the comb out, vacuumed up a lot of the bees. Um, did not find the queen yet, and the problem I'm having is that's still hollow going up there. And, uh, you know, there's still a lot of bees up in that thing, even though there's no comb and it's just basically rotten wood. Um, I did knock some of it out and vacuum up a bunch of the bees, but if the queen's in there, the bees are just gonna, you know, start all over. So we're getting the uh, climbing gear and we're actually gonna start cutting this down with a chainsaw in sections and getting it down. Otherwise the bees will just move back in there and, uh, even without a queen, new bees will move in there eventually. So that's where we're at. Getting ready to uh, start cutting this down. We'll start with that top section right above those four by fours and then uh, work our way down. All right, well, we got a got to cut down from up there in a couple sections. Still got a lot of bees in here and hopefully the queen's in there somewhere. So we're gonna vacuum them out and uh, yeah, and then this one will be a wrap. Surfer Ray, NorCal Bees. <laughs>